Hi again. In this video, we just want to provide an overview of the NewView software, give you a basic understanding of the functionality, and what information is available in NewView. So what we're looking at right now is the main NewView screen. Uh, on this main screen, we also have a ventilator running, and so we have live data appearing on the screen. But let's take a look around the, the, the main screen. Up in the top left of the screen, you see New View 3 and the current version that's running on this computer. Below that, you have the reference conditions, which were entered in the setup screen when you start the software. Over on the right, you have your compliance setting and resistance setting for the lung that you're ventilating. It's very important, it's critical, that you have this compliance setting entered accurately. You see there's a drop-down menu, menu and list for the available compliance settings on the adult lung. So we've selected the one for uh, that matches where our compliance spring is set. And then we have a resistor setting to enter the resistor that's being used in the simulated airway. Uh, again, this value is not as critical in calculations, but it is important in just referencing what you're seeing uh, on the screen in real time. If we look below that, in the center of the screen, we have our three dis uh, waveform displays. The top waveform display is for flow, and it, uh, to the right of that, we have the peak inspiratory flow value. On any of these waveform displays, you can uh, scale the waveform to fill that particular area of the display by clicking the arrows in each waveform. Uh, below the, peak, the flow waveform, we have the pressure waveform. And again, this is the proximal airway pressure. The numeric value corresponding to the waveform is here, to the right of it and also the PEEP value is displayed here. And down on the bottom we have the volume waveform display. So here in the volume waveform, uh, to the right of that we have our inspiratory tidal volume, our expiratory tidal volume, and our minute volume. So waveforms and numeric values are positioned so that they correspond and are easily viewed. Down at the bottom of the screen, in the center, we have the total breath rate that's being counted. On the left side, we have inspiratory time and expiratory time. And those two values are used to determine a I to E, inspiratory expiratory ratio. And to the right, we have the FiO2 measurement. If you have your oxygen sensor connected, you'll see a value there. If your oxygen sensor is not connected, you'll just see two dashes. And then we also have the lung temperature. There is a temperature sensor in the bellows of the lung simulator. So that measurement is made here. Down at the very bottom of the screen, we have some real-time displays of uh, flow values, uh, volume value, proximal pressure measurement, a high pressure measurement if you're connected to that side port on the lung simulator that high pressure port. Generally during ventilation measurements you're not measuring that high pressure. And, and to the right is the total, I'm sorry, is the uh, lung pressure being measured in real time. Okay, over on the left and here we get into really some key functionality of the NewView software. So these, this is the mode selection menu. And so what we have are four modes that are available for recording, saving, and replaying uh, ventilation data. At the top of the screen is the record mode. And so in the record mode, you can take real-time recordings of what's being viewed uh, in the acquisition mode at any time. And you can start that recording, stop it when you have recorded enough, and add notes and save that file for later viewing. Below the record mode is the snapshots mode. In the snapshots mode, 
what we're taking is a snapshot or a quick uh, recording or shot of the numerical values that you see on the screen at any time. So in fact, this is a way to build a table by taking a snapshot. And you can take, again, as many snapshots as needed. And it's uh, counted in the mode, so you can see how many you've taken. And then those, that table can be exported to a CSV file or to an Excel file for later analysis. Below that, we have our trend test mode. And in trend tests, you configure a test for an extended period of time you determine the length of the test and the test interval to determine how many samples you will collect during that trend test. And again, that information is stored to a spreadsheet for later analysis, but that way you can look and see uh, the variability for any particular ventilation parameters over an extended period of time, up to 48 hours. And finally, at the bottom we have the playback mode and in this mode, you actually load a recording that was made in the record mode, and you can play, pause, restart, and review the notes for that recording. This is ideal when you don't necessarily have a ventilator or are able to look at a particular phenomenon in real time. You can pull up a recording and still view and analyze that for demonstration to students, to other professionals that may be interested in a particular ventilation phenomenon. So those are the four modes of, uh, that are available in the mode selection menu and uh, how you can use the software to not only look at real time data, but to go back and review, replay, uh, analyze, and uh, instruct using the NewView software. So that's a real basic overview, but that's something to get you started, and I hope it's helpful. Thank you.